Warm welcome to the exciting world of animals. May I ask you for a subscription, please? The black and red broadbill is a species of bird in the family Eurylamidae. It is monotypic within the genus Symbiorhynchus. It is a large, unmistakable bird, with maroon underparts, black upperparts, a maroon neck band, and white bars on the wings. It also has a large, dichromatic, blue and yellow bill. It is unlikely to be visually confused with any other bird in its range, but may be confused with the black and yellow broadbill vocally. It is found in Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. It inhabits lowland riparian forest throughout its range. It can also adapt quite well to disturbed habitat, inhabiting secondary growth and degraded habitat near rivers. The black and red broadbill is mainly insectivorous, supplementing its diet with aquatic creatures such as mollusks, snails, fish, and crustaceans. It also takes leaves and seeds incidentally. It nests in the dry season throughout its range, with the nest being large, conspicuous structures that usually overhang water. Nests are built by both sexes out of creepers, fungal hyphae, moss, and other plant matter. Eggs are laid in clutches of two to three, occasionally with a fourth runt egg, and incubated by both parents. They are listed as least concerned by the IUCN, due to their large range and lack of severe decrease in global population. However, they have experienced declines in several parts of their range, and may face threats due to deforestation, trapping for the songbird trade, and hunting. The black and red broadbill is a large broadbill. Adults have black heads and breastbands, greenish-black upperparts, with a maroon half-collar and bright maroon rumps and upper tail covers. Scapulars have pure white edges, forming a white line on the closed wing. The bend of the wing has a narrow orange line. The tail is black, with variable amounts of white. The bill is dichromatic, a bright turquoise blue maxilla, and a yellow-orange mandible with a blue tip and edges. The irises are bright emerald green. Throughout its range, nesting usually occurs in the driest months of the year, from January to August in Malaysia, from late February to June in Myanmar, in May and June in Thailand, December to August in Borneo, and March to June in Sumatra. Occupied nests have also been reported in June in Vietnam and in May in Laos, both near the end of the local dry seasons. Nests are conspicuous and usually overhanging water, especially fast-moving water. They are mostly built over forest pools, rivers, and streams, and more uncommonly over coastal slacks, tidal mangroves, and man-made drainage ditches. Nests are also rarely built fair from water, over roads and paths. Nests are built by both sexes, usually taking around 11 days to build, but sometimes taking up to 49 days. They are ragged, bag-shaped or pear-shaped structures, made out of tightly woven grasses, vines, sticks, bark, leaves, creepers, rootlets, vegetable fibers, pieces of moss, and fungal hyphae. The inside is usually lined, and the base is covered with soft material such as green leaves. The side entrance has a roof made of grass or fibers. Nests are usually fixed to thin, flexible, and spiked branches or shoots, from Senegalia penata and Bambusa species. The black and red broadbill is chiefly insectivorous, feeding on a variety of insects such as ants, beetles, crickets, grasshoppers, caterpillars, and hemipteran bugs. Thank you for your interest in wildlife. See you pretty soon, and take care, be safe.